Hey guys, good morning. And happy election postponement. <laughs> if we can say that. Okay, so going by the reactions and the lots of emotions that are buzzing on social media, I just thought I should share my perspective talking about the topic you cannot do without emotional intelligence. You cannot do without emotional intelligence. My, the topic I'm sharing this morning as my response to the cancellation, no, not cancellation, postponement of the elections is to say you cannot do without emotional intelligence. You see, first and foremost, there's a misconception that people who are emotionally... Hey, Toby Hezi, thank you for reading my book. I appreciate you. Thank you. There's a misconception that people who, who want to be emotionally intelligent cannot do wrong, cannot feel wrong, cannot take offense, cannot express emotions and all those stuff. It's a misconception, gross misconception, and it's a fallacy. First and foremost, emotionally intelligent people acknowledge that they are human. Emotionally intelligent people acknowledge that they have emotions and they are true to their emotions. As an emotionally intelligent person, you should accept and acknowledge your emotions and express them. The difference between an emotionally intelligent person and, in, and a less emotionally intelligent person is the fact that the emotionally intelligent person is choosy. They are selective of the emotions that they demonstrate and they govern the emotions that they show. They choose their expression. They choose their manner of approach. They choose their method of communication. And they seek to empower and not seek to destroy. An emotionally intelligent person would share how he or she feels with the aim of coming to a win-win, a compromise, a, 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 a place of resolution very very important because i have seen a lot of emotions being spilled you know the beauty of of this period is that we get to see how people are when they are pressed you know they say that when you press a cockroach you cannot expect blood what you see is what is inside the cockroach when you're under pressure the real you comes out i have i have known in this period i have the best of friends you know why Many of my friends are pro-Buhari. I am not pro-Buhari. But my friends and I agree to disagree. We have civil conversations. We talk about these issues. We, we come to compromise on, on neutral places where we, dis, where we think the government is doing wrong. And we, we acknowledge the difference between our perspectives of their success or not. And it's very important for you to know that everybody has a right to how they feel so this morning there's been a postponement and there's a lot of energy and a lot of emotions going all over the place my question is are you afraid of expressing your emotions because you don't want to be misunderstood or are you expressing your emotions with the aim of enlightening empowering and educating you cannot do without emotional intelligence um, let me break it down to the very, very basics. In your domestic life, emotional intelligence helps you to manage crisis. Even in your personal, individual life, there are moments when you feel really down as a person and it has nothing to do with people. You're just moody, you're just discouraged, you're probably just sad, you're probably just not in that space. Your ability to contain how you feel and not make it become a problem with the people that you meet is very significant i may be moody but do i throw tantrums with people am i cranky am i intolerable those are signs that you may need to pay attention to um, because you can't function alone every time you can't function outside the space with people so this period is for me a sign that you need to check your emotional intelligence capacity. Am I emotionally intelligent? Am I 
preserving myself? Do I, do I protect how I feel? Do I acknowledge how I feel? Do I even know how I feel? I'd like you to use your smartphone and just go on the internet and Google list of emotions. There is a list of emotions on the internet. Google it. Read through each emotion and identify at a time in your life when did I feel this specific emotion. Some of you don't even know some emotions exist. You just think you feel. And you create a block name. You just say, I'm okay. I'm fine. I think I'm tired. When you feel tired, you may not even be tired actually. You may actually feel upset. But if you can check out the list of emotions, it will give you a range of emotions that you need to pay attention to and become acquainted with them. There's also a factor that we call values. Um, actually, in interpersonal relationships, you can never, you can never do away without with the factors of values. In every relationship, what makes a relationship last or grow or more intimate are values. The more values that the people in a relationship agree to, the more intimate and likely sustainable their relationship will be. The less values that the two people agree to, the higher the chances of conflicts. That's the way it is. So, if you are in a relationship, with friends and acquaintances and lovers and all what you have you also need to check yourself and say what values do I hold so dear and what values does this person I'm in a friendship with or relation what does he or she hold so dear and how can I live by my values without violating the values of the person I'm in friendship with this is what we call values clarification in soccer we, we say that you need to come to a place of compromise between values and identify three things one what values does this person have that i like that are in sync with mine number two what values does this person have that i don't like but i can tolerate i can live with it and thirdly what values does this person have that i cannot stand because really you can't stand every values there are some that are just not within your spectrum of tolerance Stop deceiving yourself and saying, well, I can handle it. I need like to tell you, when you identify the values that you cannot stand, you need to make a decision. What do I want to do about this friendship? And that's why in Sopka we talk about the friendship ripple. And in the friendship ripple, we talk about the fact that there are rings. And the rings determine where you place your friends. Hey, Jaye. Thank you. Thank you, Toyin. There are rings that determine where you place your friends and acquaintances. There are rings, inner rings, that is closer to your core. There are some people that are in alignment with your core. Those are people whose values align with your values in so many ways. Then there are rings that are far from your core, like external. Those people, you are not enemies. You are friends, but you are not close friends. Everybody can be your friend. Just place them on a particular ring. The closer they are to you, it means more values align. The farther they are from you, it means less values align. These are factors that determine emotional intelligence. As I end this video, I want you to remember the purpose for this video is that while the elections are raging and while the emotions are blasting, after the elections, everybody's body <laughs> we come down and when everybody's body comes down the pivotal question is would I have caused more damage to my impressions and reputation or would I have reinforced that I'm a mature and emotionally intelligent person please be very careful what you say be very careful what you do and be very careful how you react Every politician you are dying for is self-serving. How is that a problem for you? Why would you take up someone else's fight and become an enemy to yourself? Why would you take up somebody else's fight and become an, a nuisance for yourself and your friends and your loved ones? It's not worth it. Develop emotional intelligence and cap you build the capacity to be responsible. I love you. If you're in Abuja, you should sign up for our class. 
that is in March. And there's also a class in Lagos. The Lagos class is April 13th to 17th. You should be in that class. And in Abuja, it's um, 6th to 10th. You should be in that class too. So if you're interested in joining the Emotional Intelligence class, whether in Lagos or Abuja, please just drop a line or a num drop an SMS to 0807 0884 Call that number or send a text. Ask for details to join the Emotional Intelligence and Anger Management classes, Lagos and Abuja, 0807 0884 And honestly, you need to understand emotional intelligence is not about life. It is life itself from yourself to other people to even incidences like disappointments and failures and back step um, um, setbacks and, and challenges and all that it's it's profound learn emotional intelligence and you to do you so well tunde bsg in lagos well like if you read my broadcast this morning because bsg is supposed to hold next saturday it is going to be on hold until the elections are over then we'll fix a new date so sorry about the postponement and how it has impacted on the calendar but we would do it immediately the coast is clear so lagos i'm coming for business study group to talk about business processes and strategies and you can still register so it means that because of the postponement the early bed fees will be retained instead of twenty five thousand, you pay eighteen thousand naira I encourage you to pick your pay your fees on time because we have only 20 seats and as I speak with you 11 seats are gone so if you do not pay your money you may lose your slot I don't want to take more than 20 people in that class the dates will be announced immediately the elections are, are done and I'll be in Lagos life and would we'll hold our class so thank you for listening to me please Tell someone to come and watch this video on my story for the next 24 hours. And it's beautiful talking with you. If you have anything you'd like me to help you with, irrespective of context, whether it's emotions or mental health or business, please shoot me an email, coachsam at subcaronline.com. Coachsam at subcaronline.com. And, um, or do an, an SMS or call 0807 three six one zero eight eight four so thank you greatly for for listening to me have a wonderful rest today bye